Thanks for tuning in today. I'm John Holmes, the owner of Holmes Hobbies. And today we're gonna to talk about Dean's Demise. So real quick, I want you to post down in the comments what type of battery and charger plugs and ESC plugs that you use on your RC cars. Wanna see what people are using out there. And what I wanna to cover today in my video is the Dean's plug and the demise of the Dean's plug here lately. Now I have been using them for well over two decades myself and here just recently within about the last year, I started switching over to XT60s. Now there's a whole lot of options out there I'll go over why I chose the XC60s out of all of them, but I've always been a Dean's fan. So let's, let's get into why the Dean's plug is falling out of favor. And we're noticing this in our sales on the website. We offer both uh, the XT60s and the Dean's plugs for people to get on their ESCs when we manufacture them for them. And we're just noticing more and more folks switching to the XT60s. So this is uh, one of my adapters here. It is, uh, you know, got the Dean's plug on this side, or technically the star plug, the compatible T plug, and then the XT60 on the other side. And what you'll notice is that the T plug, the Dean's plug, has essentially two flat or spade connectors that are arranged 90 degrees to each other, so it's a polarized plug. And the XT60 plug has essentially, on one side, it's just a barrel, and then on the other side, it is a spring connector. Now there's other options that are very similar to the XT60 and that would be like the EC3. And they also use a spring connector, but they use the, uh, let's see, what would we call this? A cage style spring. And these have their own problems as then uh, when they get heated up, the cage really just loses its spring tension and then the total integrity of the circuit goes down. And it ends up being a runaway situation where you have the spring getting loose, which creates a higher resistance. Then you have higher resistance because everything is hot. Then the spring gets looser because it gets hotter, higher resistance and on and so forth until it essentially catches on fire or you just have an open circuit uh, one way or the other. So over something like the EC3, I would choose the XT60, and I did choose the XT60 because it has the Castle style bullet. Uh, Castle, I, I do believe, came out with this for the RC market. I believe it was already in, in use for industrial. However, it's essentially just a post with a slight taper to it, and then a slitting saw goes through it in two directions. So you end up having kind of a, a spring mechanism. You slide it in there, and then it, it springs back open to hold the connection. And there's nothing that will essentially wear out, and it, when it gets hot, it, it still holds its spring because it's not a real thin piece of metal going around. So the, uh, let's see, what would this be? The female side, it, it, it's kind of ambiguous which is which. Uh, so it's female housing male post on the XT60s. And I kind of forget which, uh, which way the manufacturers call it. Really doesn't matter on there. But uh, what we end up is with a much more solid connection with the XT60 as compared to the Deans. It's easier to plug in. It's a nice wide body, easier to take apart. Uh, that's probably my biggest gripe with the old Deans is that they get really hard to take apart after a while and you gotta actually like pull on the wires themselves and it's just not a good situation. They're also a lot easier to solder. So we've got these, uh, these little cups at the end of them and you can actually turn these inside the housing so that they both face up. You get a little bit of solder in there, it stays real nice. You slide your wire in, solder it up and ready to go. With the Dean's plug, we have a just a flat piece to solder to. It's not too big of a deal, but if you sometimes get a little bit on the outside, it's just really hard to get your heat shrink over. Uh, just in general, they're just harder to use. They get, didn't quite keep up with uh, technology, so to speak. Other people came out with better styles of plugs and they did nothing to modify them or come out with another one. Honestly, uh, Dean's could come out with a new plug. Maybe they will since they're starting to lose market share. Maybe they'll come out with their own, you know, compression style post plug. At least I hope so, because they've, they've always been a staple in the market and it's kind of sad for me to leave them. I've got, you know, 30 something rigs and we're slowly just transitioning them over. But honestly, at this point, I don't miss the Dean's. The XT60 spark less, they're easier to unplug and plug. They're easier to solder. What more do you want in a plug? Besides, I guess, not making heat. I guess that'd be about it. Just having a nice, good connection, which they do. 
So yeah, that, that pretty much covers why I think that we're seeing the, de the demise of Dean's. It's being demised in my own fleet. A lot of my buddies are also doing that too locally. But just in case, whenever I go somewhere, I always bring my XD60 to Dean's adapter, just in case I run out of battery or somebody else runs out of a battery and we can, we can swap that way. So it's real nice like that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, post down below, but definitely post up what you're using in your rigs. I'm interested to find that out. So thanks for tuning in today.